Week marks two years since an elderly couple was shot dead in their Clearwater home, and there's still no answers in their murders. But tonight, ABC Action News has obtained new pictures from the crime scene that reveal a disturbing trail of evidence. Plus, we're also learning about a growing legal battle over the couple's inheritance. Isabel Rosales tonight with this exclusive. Seven. Never before seen evidence pictures. Inside this home, Noelle Devine discovered the body of her mom, Mina, and her stepfather, David. These pictures show red flags that first alerted neighbors something was wrong. Their cars unused, the newspaper and mail piling up. Clearwater police are hoping you see something else they don't. He's a good man. He was a fair man. He was an honest man. Uh, he loved his family. Stephen Swan is David's son from his first wife. Tonight, there are no answers, no closure in this unsolved mystery. Two years. Where are we? Swan says his life has been on hold. Anytime I try to get into the out of denial, I go into anger and I get real angry. Lieutenant Michael Wallach tells me after collecting over 300 pieces of evidence, tips have dried up. It is very frustrating. I mean, everyone's got a parent. I if that was your parents. Several theories are still on the table when it comes to motive, but Wallach insists the Swans were targeted. 100%. This is not a random act. It wasn't a break in, and they don't believe anything was stolen. And for the first time, we're learning part of the Swans' inheritance money is being held up in court, a legal battle between the adult stepchildren. Well, we're being sued for $500,000. We uncovered this lawsuit showing Mina's daughter, Noelle, suing Stephen for those six figures. The suit alleges the couple's joint bank account was being misused on the part of David Swan and that David failed to pay his wife money he had agreed to. Accusations, Stephen's attorneys say, is not factual. As that civil battle brews, Wallach vows to bring the killer to justice. Someday, CPD detectives are going to knock on your door and you're going to go to jail. In Clearwater, Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.